Hello, family. God bless you. So listen to what the Bible is saying about tests. First Thessalonians 5.21 says, Test all things. Hold fast what is good. So understand that the Bible is telling you to test all things. But this is the test. It talks about prophecies. Do not despise prophecies, right? They're talking about testing prophetic words and what is of God, what's not, right? The Bible goes on to say, test the spirits to see if they are of God. So listen, listen actually what that is. Listen to this revelation. The test is the power of God being made manifest. That's the evidence of a prophetic word being true or what that spirit is coming to you. Uh, sometimes Christians forget. It says test the spirits to see if they're from God. So angelic beings in, in revela the revelation spirit um, can sometimes get confusing for people because they're thinking, oh, it's just the Holy Spirit, you know, just the Holy Spirit. There's way more spirits that are from God than just the Holy Spirit. Yet Christian, very ignorant of these things many times. So understand that the power of God being made manifest is the evidence of a prophetic word being true. And the same is the evidence that Jesus rose from the dead, right? The Bible says that our faith is not in word, but it is in the demonstration of the spirit and in the power of God. So understand this, you can't possibly test anything if you don't even have God's presence or you don't walk in his power. You can't test anything. People are trying to test things according to scripture. That's not what the Bible is really saying. Everything should line up with scripture. Absolutely. Your experience, your encounter with God should line up with scripture. Sure. How is it Paul is walking through Jerusalem and the woman is saying, oh, these are the these are the servants of the Most High God who show us the way to heaven and this and that. They'll show us the way. And he turns around and says, you evil spirit, leave her. And the python spirit, the spirit of divination comes out of the girl. So, so you have to test all spirit. He said the manifestation of what's in her is not like what's in me. So really, I see many people are supposed to be of God. And when the Holy Spirit manifests, they say, oh, it's demon spirits, isn't it? You've just blasphemed the Holy Spirit. Why? Because you don't even walk in the presence and the power of God to know that the spirit that is in you, that is greater than what's in the world, is supposed to, when he manifests, when the Holy Spirit comes, you're supposed to know. You're supposed to know and be deeply, A, hey, the presence of this spirit that is being is operating through that man is the same one that's in me. That's how Paul knew. That's how he knew. <laughs> Anyways, God bless you all. Take care. I love you all so much.